Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I just filled up my car with gas and everybody in town is coming to let me know that my car's dirty. They said they've never seen my car dirty. Well, it's because I got all this pollen on it and I think when you're enjoying life and you've got things to do and people to see, you don't have time to wash your car. Okay. So I better go 35 because the cops has already pulled me over twice on this road. So update on everything is my grandson enjoyed himself so much he stayed five days with his girlfriend and I told them that they are welcome anytime. They don't even have to tell me because they were such wonderful house guests. Uh, they didn't give me any grief. They didn't do any, you know, bitching. They took showers twice a day. I like, I like people who come and visit me who take showers, <laughs> you know? Okay. So during a tornado watch last night, he was actually fishing. He got caught in it. He did get caught in it. And I had given him like a 10 minute warning that a, a bad storm was coming through, but he didn't have his he did not have his phone and he got caught in it. It was a little scary, but then later on that night, he went out fishing on the dock in the rain. Yeah. <coughs> so I really enjoyed their company. So here's the bad news. Last year, I had to pay $420 to get some R22 Freon put into my AC unit. He said there's a leak, he can't find it. Now, because he has to go through three other units to get to mine, he says he can't find it. And it just seems like a good HVAC guy would be able to snake it down there and figure out where the leak is and fix it. But I think he was just trying to gouge me. $420, well, my AC's not working, the Freon's not kicking in, it must've all leaked out. So I can't afford it. I'm gonna have to probably go all summer long with no AC, which is going to kill me. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Someone did tell me that you can substitute something else instead of R22. So if any of you guys know, or girls, let me know. Uh, there's a tractor for sale for 3,500. Mm. Looks like it's 60 years old. I like old tractors, okay. Now, here is the, some good news. Uh, I woke up this morning, I kept getting pings on my phone, and I finally got up. I woke up with another raging headache. I don't know, it's because I have to leave the window open or the sliding glass doors and the pollen just comes in and infiltrates the whole room, it makes me sick as a dog. So, I woke up and I saw all these texts from my brother and he evidently uh, he has to name all of his racehorses and you have to come up with kind of unusual names because you know they're all you can't use a name that's already been taken um, so he named his new racehorse which is a I forgot the name of Verizana horse I'm not sure how to pronounce that he named it Debbie's YouTube Diva. I was so thrilled. I said, what an honor. And I text him back. And she's got this white spot down her nose. She looks pretty. She looks a little sleepy though. Maybe it's because she's young, but she's got to go to training. They gave her a bath. I guess that's why they called her a diva. I think there's a cop behind me. God dang. You never know what the cops are driving anymore. They might even be in a Volkswagen. Yeah, it looks like a cop car. I guess I better go to the speed limit. They could give me a ticket for going under the speed limit. So I'm on the way to the big city, which I am very anxious about. Um, no, he's gonna pass me. It's not a cop car. It's a Ford truck. Um, I'm very anxious because I got to get on 95 North. I would rather shovel horse manure than get on 95 North. It, it is awful. You better have a full tank of gas because if you get caught in one of those traffic jams or an accident, you're going to be sitting there for an hour. 
so look what I got to drink. Diet Dr. Pepper. One of my favorite drinks. It's hard to find Diet Dr. Pepper. So it is a beautiful day. It's about 70. It's a little bit windy. So next this coming Saturday is the Kentucky Derby. That's where I'll be at. So I get to see my little sister and all her, hopefully all her children. I guess all of them. She's got four. She raised them by herself, which I think is the most admirable thing a single mother can do. She did have a husband, but he was not the kind of husband that you would want. I mean, he uh, did, did not uh, help them with money or support, you know. Actually, when I was a deputy, I, I arrested him for assaulting the band teacher when he, he was in high school. I know, this is a sad thing. Uh, her husband had been in jail more than he's been out, you know. So that's a sad thing, but I, she devoted her whole life to her children and to my mother, and she's suffering now for it because she is very much disabled a whole lot more than me but you know how do you how do you factor in the disability you know she's got numerous problems i just have maybe two she's got a whole list she has meniere's degenerative disc disease and now she's got something else She's had two gastric bypasses. Let me tell you what, everybody in my family who's had one, they will tell you, don't do it. Do not do it. It, it robs you of all your nutrients that you need. Yeah, I better step on it. So I'll be so glad when I can wake up without a freaking headache. I've got to run to the kitchen, take two Tylenol, lay back down. So i got to finish rolling up my window. There's too much wind. Ah. Still haven't got my window fixed. You can hear that, I'm sure. Ah. So, um, what else can we talk about? Yes, I'm very disheartened about my AC. In order for me to get another one, it's going to be at least ten thousand. They're going to have to bring it in on a crane, put it on top of the building. I don't know. I tell you what, being a homeowner is not easy. It's always something, you know. Jeez. So, my ex-boyfriend took me out to lunch yesterday, which was very nice. I wanted to go to one of the best restaurants in town, which lunch would have been about $11, I guess. He wouldn't take me. He took me to a breakfast dive, which was okay. Um, then we went to his house, which I shouldn't have done that. Now remember, there's a tornado watch during all this. So he wants to take me back into his bedroom and I said no he has a girlfriend okay this is the thing his girlfriend wouldn't come after him she'd come after me and I know he has a girlfriend because he, she comes down every Saturday and yesterday was Saturday and she lives in town I mean she could have just walked right on in but it doesn't matter because he's just a friend now there's no love interest there and he kept trying to put the moves on me and I put my foot down. I said, no, take me home. So, in the meantime, I'm trying to text my grandson, telling him to get off the beach, get out of the water, because the tornado watch is coming, and all of a sudden it started pouring. The minute he dropped me off, it started pouring really bad, and my grandson drove the golf cart home in this horrible rainstorm. I mean, the rainstorm was going down like this sideways. But it really, it really, I lost a lot of respect for him that he would do that. 
knowing that he's got a girlfriend. I mean, you know, I don't think people can change. I don't think so. You know, I was having so much respect for him because he's been through a lot in the last two years. He's gotten clean, if you know what I mean. I don't know, but you never really know about that either. They can say they're clean, but they can use on this side. Who knows? But I couldn't believe the moves he was trying to put on me. It was really embarrassing. Even for me, at 64 years old, it was embarrassing. I felt like I was a teenager, again, in the back seat of the car trying to fend off the guy, you know. That's how I felt like. He's like 55 years old. Do men really grow up? I don't think so.